Hey there, and welcome back to the Push Forward Podcast. I'm your host, Alex. I'm here to guide you through some of the most exciting trends we're expecting to see in 2024, especially in the world of influencers and affiliate marketing. I really like how those two worlds have collided and have been really for the last probably, I want to say, uh, almost 20 years, uh, right from when blogging started to become pretty big. Early on, I don't think that most bloggers knew that the future was going to be uh, that they would monetize their blog creation as an influencer or a creator. So we, we have seen how things have sort of evolved from where people were blogging early on in the early 2000s to then going to podcasting. Podcasting went through some ups and downs. Then we had the you know social media explosion back in 2006 with Facebook, preceded by YouTube growing. So you had a lot of YouTubers in the 2010s. And then you had other platforms like Instagram and then TikTok. And then somewhere in between there around 2016, podcasting became big again, sort of it went in a big full circle. But in any case, whether you are an influencer or a creator on a platform like YouTube creating videos or a podcaster on a platform like Spotify, or maybe you are just a blogger that really enjoys writing and sharing your superpowers and the things that you are really interested in with your audience. So there's so many different channels and types of content that one can can do today to monetize. But all through those years and those different channels, one of the things that we saw, because we were involved in affiliate marketing since 2009, we saw the affiliate world, you know, come together with the influencer world. So that that evolution has been really interesting to see. I remember going to my first affiliate summit in Las Vegas, probably 2009 was my first one. And then Affiliate Summit East in New York was 2010. That was the first one I went to. And I've been going to to those conferences every year to the point where, you know, today I think they probably have closer to seven, 8,000 attendees from all over the world, both the advertisers and the publishers and then the platforms like Rakuten in between. Well, some of those new channels and technologies that we've seen like Clear and others have have entered that mix where it's like, hey, they've got the database of influencers and creators across different channels. And then you have advertisers, big advertisers, you know, from uh, uh, Amazon to Nike and many other brands who are looking now, not just for a traditional affiliate marketing that can push traffic, right? The traditional affiliate marketer, what they're doing is pushing traffic, whether it's from their email database uh, perhaps through paid ads, right? And even cold calling. I mean, there's a lot of different ways that advertisers can push traffic. And then you even have direct mail, you know, till this day, 2023, there are still many um, affiliate publishers out there who can generate traffic and leads and sales for the brands they work with. It's so interesting. And then you have the in-between platforms like impact.com and um, Rakuten and Commission Junction, and there's so many others out there who are that in-between marketplace where you have the brands and then you have the uh, affiliates on the other side that can push traffic, right? And then you can get paid on a commission. But I think it took time for things to evolve where influencer became, a, became an obvious choice. I think it was because many influencers were a little turned off by the the affiliate world. And I say this because I spoke over the years to many influencers, creators who were like, hey, you know what? I just don't really want to work on that level as an affiliate. Um, and I think a lot of brands, because they were working behind the scenes uh, with the with the platforms, there was this like distance. It was a distance between the affiliate and the brand. And I think today, platforms like impact.com and others, they understand that you need to bring the influencer and the brand closer together so they can work more collaboratively, right? But gone are the days where influencers were just about brand awareness. In 2024, some of the trends coming up is that we're seeing this like huge dynamic shift. And, and I've been hearing this not only from reading articles in the 
affiliate world, the influencer and marketing world, but I've, I'm talking to some influencers that have really nice number of followers and they're working with big brands. And they're telling me that they are being approached by brands to become an integral part of the affiliate marketing strategy. So not just the marketing strategy as a whole, but the affiliate marketing strategy. So blending that promotion with the authenticity and personal engagement. I think it's going to be so interesting. And of course, in this conversation, we can't, you know, forget to make that comparison, which I think is important between products and services. I talk about this a lot, products and services, they're marketed differently, right? So if you're selling a product, even if it's a dropship product and you're selling it through your Shopify website as a brand, you need a different type of influencer than you do if you have a service. Maybe you're a SaaS platform, it's a digital product, so that's sort of a hybrid, or maybe you are actually selling a service. It might be an event, it might be a, a course, maybe you're an accounting firm, a law firm. It's, it's very different for an influencer to sell that service. The fact is that from what I've seen, my own observation is that the change is really driven by a demand for authenticity for authenticity i mean I, I think the 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 other thing that consumers the billions we're talking billions billions of consumers of all different income levels of all regions of the world we all have smartphones those smartphones are gateways gateways to marketplaces and shops and whether you're on instagram TikTok, wherever you are people are looking for authenticity People want recommendations from those they trust, not just a face in an ad. And influencers are stepping up. They're sharing products that they genuinely love and use. And you feel that authenticity coming through the content that they create because you see them use the product. And it's a super powerful shift and, and one that's really reshaping how we think about marketing. I recently saw, and uh, it wasn't an ad, but it was a... Um, case study for a makeup product in China and where this affiliate does a live stream, all right? And so she's really an influencer, but I say affiliate because she's driving so much traffic within the affiliate program. It's a makeup product. And what she does is literally this video got billions of views as she goes out in the rain. And while it's raining, she's literally putting on the makeup in the rain. And the makeup is actually staying on her face and changing and making her look, you know, nicer and whatnot, the way what, what she was looking for. But the intended use of the product in this authentic way that was very organic, all you heard was rain. There wasn't, there wasn't any editing to the video. You could see that it was, it just felt organic. And the, the company who's selling the product, you know, they said that they had their, like by far the largest conversion they had ever had um, from any marketing campaign that they had ever done. So again, it's that authenticity, right? The changing faces of affiliate marketing is going to be really interesting because I know from having gone to a lot of these affiliate conferences around the world that, um, it used to be a lot of like the tech slash marketing guys who were doing and girls who were doing email marketing and pushing affiliate traffic, you know, five, six publishers deep and working on these platforms. Right. And the, the, now seeing these, the tactics of that side got, you know, people who've been in the affiliate space for decades, merging with the influencer strategies, you know, it's so interesting. All the platforms that are in the forefront, I mean, they're recognizing and facilitating the, the blend for sure. I've seen this even with impact.com um, and what they're doing with influencers there. But it's not just about clicks and views anymore. It's really about genuine connections and trusted endorsements. You see, I didn't say sales. I didn't say transactions because what the brands are saying they want is they want that genuine connection and trusted endorsement. And they can't always get that through an ad on the Super Bowl, through an ad in YouTube or a Google ad or a Facebook ad, right? So what are the predictions for brands and influencers? Well, you know, from talking to a lot of my marketing friends in the past few months, I think that for brands, it's time for them to, if, you, if you're a brand, even a small brand, if you haven't had time to think about how affiliate works into a strategy uh, with, with the influencers that you may or may not have tried, right? Because influencer has changed over time as well. So it's not just about the number of followers. 
but who has the most engaged and loyal audience. I would rather have someone with 5,000 followers that has high engagement than someone that has 5 million followers and smaller uh, level of engagement. And of course, they have to be um, aligned with my mission, the mission of my product, and they have to overlap with my audience. So for influencers, this means more opportunities, but also a greater responsibility to maintain that authenticity, right? You can't just take on any client as an influencer. And I, and I can confirm this from Christy, who was on uh, our podcast here on the Push Forward podcast a few uh, weeks ago. You know, Christy works with many big brands, as, as she said, you know, she can't just say yes to every brand, every product, right? She needs to know that it aligns with her audience because she needs that level of, of authenticity so that her viewers, her users can keep coming back and saying, hey, Christy, we like what you do. Right. So again, it, it, this is this for me, it's confirmed information that I've I've been able to collect in these in these conversations that I've had over the last few months. So what are the strategies for success in 2024? Well, success in influencer marketing is going to hinge on the alignment of your brand and the authenticity of that influencer. So brands need to partner with more influencers who truly resonate with their products and services. And then for influencers, it's all about being selective. I know it feels like I'm saying the same thing different ways, but I think you need to hammer on that and staying true to your personal brand and audience, right? You can't be everything to everyone. And as we look towards 2024, and we're going to talk about other ways that influencers are uh, different trends, right? Different trends. I mean, if you look at Influ Influencer Marketing Hub and other platforms, you know, you're starting to see these huge lists of like, you know, um, 20 influencer marketing trends that will shape 2024. I mean, the headlines are all over the place, right? So we're just talking about one trend in 2024 here. We're not talking about all the 20, but over the next few episodes, I will definitely visit with the trends that I know I can speak about, right? Um, but again, if you, if, if you haven't thought about it, it's time for you to adapt and embrace the trend. And because it, it, the potential is enormous for your company to connect more with your target audience. All right. So that's it for today's episode. I hope that these insights help you stay ahead of the curve in the rapidly evolving digital marketing and influencer landscape. And remember, in the world of marketing, staying informed is key. Keep pushing forward, and I will see you on the next episode.